What's going on y'all? It's your boy Avionics back with another action figure related video. Now first of all let me apologize for the way I sound as I am trying to get over an illness but in today's video we finally have the Hasbro HasLab Cobra His Tank that everyone pre-ordered over a year and a half ago. Probably I want to say like last uh, 2022 like late spring early summer I want to say but they finally started delivering them uh, starting last week and we finally have it and it finally came FedEx uh, to our doors and this is the shipper box is how it arrives so uh, obviously this is the shipper box so it says what's kind of what's in it you know it says what does it say Hasbro action figures one piece G.I.J. Whitman whatever that is G.I. Joe it shows that the the weight of this is almost 19 pounds but um, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox everything that's out of this shipper box. All right, so upon carefully slitting the top open, we have another box in here. All right, so this is what was inside of the shipper box. No markings on this one. All right, now let's go ahead and open this one now. All right, so that's basically this box wrapped up in plastic pretty tight in the, the last box in another box. So this thing is packed pretty good. But yeah, this is, let's go ahead and remove the plastic. All right, so here is the <laughs> His Tank box in all of its glory. Let's take a look at the front. All right, so we got all the, the Crimson uh, Cobra guys that are gonna be with uh, this uh, His Tank that were like unlocked exclusives. You know, as, as they reach a couple of tiers, then we're gonna get more figures. That's that front. Let's take a look at the top right there. That looks this box looks sweet, but I'm an out of box collector, so this box is gonna get trashed because I don't have anywhere else to put this. This box, once I have the tank out, there's a shot of the side, there's the back side, and then on this side, down the bottom, we, this is what we already kind of saw. And it does kind of go over all the parts of uh, the tank so I might take a photo a photo of this to kind of look over later on that's pretty cool though all right so let's go ahead and then unbox this box now all right so it looks like we got more boxes inside of boxes let's take this top one out all right, so these are the two boxes that were inside. This one looks to be the, like the figures, and then this one looks to be the tank itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figures first. And as I open them up right here, oh yeah. So it looks like we got a bunch of uh, stickers right there that we're gonna be putting on the tank itself. And then we do have, let's go ahead set this up for you guys to see all right so here's the figures that uh, are included with the his tank we've got a, uh, a signature printed box of the cobra his tactician we've got our cobra his driver and then we have our cobra his gunner and then our exclusive cobra commander action figure in this uniform and i've been wanting to get um the original classified series cobra commander dressed like this i never got a chance to I started collecting a little bit later after he was released, but um, I, I have the regular dark navy blue one, but I, I'm glad I have this one now. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of these guys. Side. And these boxes are cool, look pretty cool to keep for anyone who's trying to like keep the box too. So this is a uh, figure 100 for the Cobra His Tactician. Cobra His Driver is number 99. All right. Cobra His Gunner is number 101. And then this is actually, Cobra Commander's on a, on a retro card back. So that's pretty cool, but he's coming out. He's coming out of this totally. And it comes with all of his accessories. And then a huge collector card right there. And then this is just filler to make sure everything can fit in this box. 
So normally I would go over each and every figure in my figure videos. Uh, we're just going to simply open these three up, take a close look at them. We're not going to go through articulation. They're all pretty much the same articulation, but we'll take a, a look at how the, the figures look um, overall along with their accessories. Cobra Commander will skip. Uh, obviously you can see him in in the window and all of his accessories, um, but we'll go ahead and open everyone up. All right, so here is the gunner. Front view, side view, side uh, view of the back, and his left side. All right, and then uh, he's got some glossy armor. The black parts are glossy armor. Everything else is kind of flat black or flat charcoal gray. And then his helmet is a, a shiny red. And then he does have to a left hand of this. It's a closed fist with his, like a glove. Okay, and then he's gonna have a right one also. It's hard to hold it, and so you guys can get a good view. But yeah, and then his his guns are this one. So the magazine of his uh, submachine gun is removable. That's how that looks. And his handgun. All right, so here is the Hiss driver. Front view, side view, left side view. And then the back view and then here are his accessories looks like this one's got the same accessories just different color so here's his submachine gun with his melee knife blade in the front and then once again this magazine does detach and then um, these these guns do have a, uh, a blast effect hole right there so if you have any of those you can stick them in there all right, and then uh, same handgun, just, I wanna say it's the same handgun. Yeah, it's the same handgun, just painted all black. Okay, and then also comes with the same gloves, just painted differently to uh, match uh, his particular uniform. So it's a uh, red, but with a black glove, left and right closed fisted. And these should just peg in to where they need to be. All right, before we move on to the Hiss Gunner, uh, I do want to point out that these two are actually, the tactician and the driver are actually the same exact mold. Same exact mold, everything from head to toe, same helmet. The helmets are actually the same, even the paint. It's just that the paint, um, the paint theme is different for uh, one another. So we have like, uh, you know, obviously you can see it all, the, the major differences, and it's all just in paint. Now as far as the Gunner, the Gunner is a woman action figure. Same kind of look though, but obviously a different mold, but it's they all have the same, pretty much the same uniform. It's just uh, she's wearing the female versions of everything, and she is the same color as the driver. But yeah, here's the front view. Right side view, left side view, the back, and then her accessories are, now she's a little bit more unique with um, obviously with her look and then all the accessories too. So here's her handgun, same handgun as um, the other two and the same color as the drivers. And then she has this office. So this is a new weapon we're seeing in the classified series. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a brand new one that no one, uh, no other classified action figure has at the moment. It's looking like a multiple round shotgun. And then you can see all the shells. Now this, probably like a 32 round magazine is removable. So this is really cool looking, really cool looking. All right, and then she does have the same gun as uh, the driver. Uh, submachine gun as a driver also removable magazine and then her two hands she um, 
These are closed fists, basically. Same uh, uniform theme. And then she does have this shovel. It with like it's like a got serra serrated on one end. There's the yeah, back of the spade and then the handle. It is flexible. So just be careful with that. But uh yeah, just gotta be careful with that. And then like a hammer or a pick weapon also, like a melee weapon. So that's pretty cool. So here's a shot of all three Cobra Hiss action figures. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to put in the SMG into the driver and the uh, tactician's hands are a bit of a challenge as you're trying to get all the fingers wrapped around the, the grip along with the thumb and then the index or trigger finger. But yeah, th those are kind of hard to uh, put into their hand correctly. And I did notice that the legs on the driver at the, at the hip are kind of a little bit loose. Um, as far as the technician, being that they are similar figures, it does feel loose too, not as loose as this one, the driver, but I feel like it's going to kind of wobble in the same looseness uh, over time. And then here is the retro carded Cobra Commander action figure. I'll open them up later, but um, you can take a close look here uh, as his uniform is, that's how he's... In his uniform just like we have here and then up top here we do have the accessories we've got a uh, right and a left closed fist in the black gloves and then uh, another set of hands we've got uh, in black gloves the menacing left hand pose and then a uh, pointing finger on the right hand and then below that we have his gun blaster mainly black with there is some red paint accents on there cool looking dagger and then he's got his uh, little globe wrapped in a cobra a golden cobra and then what looks to be a backpack to to be able to holster the gun right yeah yep it is all right so now moving on we have a, a little booklet of the gi joe a uh, high cobra hiss which stands for high speed sentry and this is like this is basically our instruction manual is how everything is going to be uh, put together and configured. And then on the back side is a little bit more instructions. And then the decals that we're going to be uh, applying all over. All right, now let's go ahead and get the meat and potatoes out, which is the tank itself. All right, so looks like we've got some parts here. All the parts wrapped in plastic. And right here's some more. And then got more, some panels. So this is the lower turret that goes underneath the front and then uh, this is going to be the shield that goes on in front of this which goes to the gunner seat up top and then you could actually have the his tank in a classic uh, in a classic kind of configuration and more of a tactical configuration and um, what these are are different sets of uh, covers for over the treads so if you want you can have the treads bare like that or you can put on this set on both sides this is the right left right again and the left so you can have it bare or you can have it like that or have it like that so you can switch those out however you want now as far as the canopy cover goes that's how it is without the doors, um, but you do, like I said, you have this clear plastic and then uh, this one more of a tactical. Now, the cool thing about this one is the side 
window panels open up like gullwing style. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, we have some uh, elephant mini guns right and left, along with their mag their barrel of magazines or barrel of rounds. And then of course the decals. All right, so let's go ahead and outfit it in uh, one configuration, shall we? Actually, you know what? Before we start putting on the parts, let's go ahead and while they're still off, let's take a closer look at the inside. So here is the uh, driver's seat or cockpit, if you will. Pretty cool, a very detailed, all the, the, the huge instrument cluster. It even has a, uh, a HUD heads up display right there. That's pretty cool. And we got some controls right there. And some buttons, looks like a joystick and looks like we have a, uh, does this throttle lever go back and forth? Oh, it does. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. There you go. That goes back and forth. Does the joystick move? Oh, it does. Oh, that's so dope. Yeah. So we will be able to um, buckle in our driver here. You should come off and then just, I hope it comes off not easily. But yeah, okay, so then here we have a step, step ladder for the driver to get in. I believe there's one on the other side too. Yep. All right, taking a look at, under, so this is battery power because it's gonna have lights and we will put batteries in here. So this is where the battery panel, the battery cover is in the back underneath. And then here's the power switch for uh, for the lights. It has front and, well, we're gonna find out. And then this is where you would attach the, uh, the under, the lower turret. But yeah, I believe the headlamps should work along with, I think there's a light inside too. In here, speaking of inside. All right, so this is the gunner seat, which you would actually pop down in there, but it actually has some tabs. One, two, and then three. And if you take a close look, it will have to line up right here. This tab right there, right there, and then right there. So that way it sits in place correctly. You'll feel it. So yeah, it's now it won't it won't come off if you, if you put it on correctly. So down straight, and then you can turn it. Now it's locked, but you, it'll be able to rotate all the way around. But that's how you would remove it and keep it locked in. Really, but let's go ahead and take that out though, and take a closer look at the inside from the gunner section. Pretty decent detail. Looking from the back. All right, let's go ahead and close this up real quick because this is really cool. All right, so we have, this is how it looks with the uh, rear access door closed. This is actually a tow hitch that comes down here. Does that mean Hasbro is gonna make some more accessories for the hiss to be able to tow some things, like some kind of trailer or something? That's pretty cool. So we have this step that folds up so that way the door can open up properly, act as a ramp, very nice detailed ramp leading into the tactician seat. Okay, now this does go up and down. You could actually remove these and put them, you can't put it here because of this horizontal bar, but you could actually swap this weapons rack to go on this side and you can put the chair over here on this side on the forward one not the rear one because you pop this up go ahead and remove it yeah you can see it's got that bar here so that seat is only made to go either here or where it is right now and this comes off as well the, the chair base there's two peg holes right there the rectangular holes but yeah you can put this over here and put and then put the weapons rack on this side if you'd like and then underneath here there's the dome light 
when you have batteries and uh, hit the power switch and then these tail lights should light up as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together. So after putting uh, the main uh, turret on the front, this shield is just optional if you want it on there or not, but uh, it comes right off and it actually glides into or slides into the little slide right there. And I mean, you can have it on or off either way. And then um, well, I'll put it back on here in a second. But um, the way these attach, uh, this is really cool. It's like a, a panel, a round panel. It just flips up like that and you just peg it right on in. And these are all removable as well. So, um, yep, you just peg in that kind of system right there, back onto there. So after pegging them in there, they could actually come out and retract. And then you can, you know, obviously, uh, you could turn, oh, I guess you can't turn it. So, um, but yeah, that's how it attaches. And then just push it back in. There you go. But yeah, these don't stay in place. If you want, you can just pull it out. So it doesn't stay in place if you want to do like different configurations. Um, these, they just pegged in right there on the sides. So that's the right side and there's the, the left side. And you can, the out pressure fit in this, 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 uh, this one clicks in and then the lower turret is pressure fits in as well, but it also, you can pivot like that up and down. Um, these, just be careful, they like, they pressure fit, but you can turn them and then they articulate like that also. And then the main blasters, they do move up and down, more of a ratcheting feeling to it rather than just, you know, sliding. All right, so here is the his tank with that tread panel on and the clear um, canopy cover on, all the missiles, turret guns and everything, and cannons are attached. Let's go ahead and pull these out. There we go. And I've already go ahead, went ahead and put in the batteries which are three double a batteries are required for the his tank lights to uh operate i could have sworn there this thing made sounds too but um once you open up the rear access door the light does turn on you turn the flash off and there you go dome light is on and we have our tactician back there and all the guns, all their uh, SM3S, SMGs down at the lower rack. The, um, what was that? The assault shotgun on top. Her spade shovel and her hammer pick all the way over there. There's actually a, a fifth slot on the gun rack. So you can put another gun on there. Um, I spaced it in between because the, uh, the magazine for the assault shotgun... Uh, it's hitting uh, one of the SMGs, so I spaced it apart. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let me turn up the lights in this room real quick. All right, so here's a shot of uh, the inside with the, the room light turned off. It's a little saturated with this video color, but, but yeah, it looks pretty dope. I'm going to actually hold off on putting any of these decals on, as I like how the Hiss already looks with... The graphics that it has already on. I just don't want to make it look tacky with all these decals. Alright, so I went ahead and swapped out the tread panel for this one. I swapped out, I swapped in this canopy. And then, uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I added the shield. So now this is how the his tank looks in this style. And once again, these drop down for when the uh, driver is trying to get into the the driver's seat, both sides come down, go up, and then remember this, I guess it would have to open up, oh, there goes the shield, but it pops up like this, oh shit, I forgot to pop up the other one, but
but yeah. So he is strapped in. It was actually pretty easy. There's just this buckle comes off the back, the back side. So this canopy has the the going style opening like that, so he can get in either way, either side. Let's go ahead and open up this side. There you go. Real, real cool. All right, so I turned off the light in the room and opened the door slightly to bring that light in and bring in my gaming area light in. That way we can see how this thing is with the lights. So I'm gonna press the power button once. Okay, so right, oh yeah, one thing I did forget to sh uh, tell you guys that the treads actually do move, which is really, really cool. And they are made of like rubber or soft TPU filament maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so this is the HUD all lit up. Get the other side. All right, so I'm gonna press it again. Oh, before I press it again, these are the lights that are all turned on with the first press. Nothing on back here yet. Okay, press it again. All right, so now we still have those lights on in there. We got the red lights coming out of the front. Cobra logo lit up. Oh, why is the... Oh, it's upside down because <laughs> it shows right side up, right down there. And it's actually showing the shadow of the turret. But yeah, so that's dope. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to press it again. Okay, so now we have headlights on as well as everything that's already currently on. Including the brake lights. Once again, let's open up the door. The rear door. To showcase the, uh, the dome light inside. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and press it again. So now we have more le more uh, headlights and fog lamps. Looks like the high beams also. Press it again. Turns off the uh, Cobra ground light. Turning that off, high beams off. So it does everything in reverse pretty much before it's completely off. Oh. Did you guys count how many total presses there were? I lost count. But yeah, that's how all the lights go. I thought there were sounds to this. I could be wrong. But if I remember Emily and, and the other guy showing this off in the early phases, it had sounds too, but there's no sounds coming out. So there are a total of nine light settings according to the uh, instruction manual here. And uh, the lights will actually automatically turn off after about 10 minutes. And no one, nowhere on here does it say that it has sound. Um, maybe I'm just reimagining things, but I could have sworn there was sound or maybe there was and they ended up taking it out of production. All right, so here is the Hasbro HasLab His Tank with my custom 3D printed His Tank that's also in the classified series scale. I printed this uh, last summer after hearing about the uh, uh, the announcement and pre-orders of this His HasLab His Tank, so I wanted to kind of you know while I wait, I can go ahead and make this tank and have something for my Cobra guys. And here is my custom 3D printed vamp along with the uh, Hasbro HasLab His Tank and the Cobra Stinger, which is also custom 3D printed. I printed all three vehicles myself, um, not my files. I was able to get them online and I just printed every piece by piece and uh, put them together, printed. These are all printed in uh, primarily the color that they are um, in and then uh, some minor painting of my own all right so we're about to wrap up this video on the hasbro haslab cobra his tank for gi joe classified action figures for the cobras i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you guys did 
please go ahead and hit that like button leave all your comments and thoughts down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of more action figure reviews like this thanks for watching guys see you next time